Welcome everybody. This is uh, a video where I'm going to show you how to run regression in Excel. Uh, the reason we want to do that is because I want to make sure that you guys have a good understanding of what happens when you ask econometric software such as SAS, Tata, Limdep, what happens in the background um, when you ask for the estimation of a regression. Um, so I have created for you guys here a set of uh, Four variables where y is my dependent variable, x1, x2, and x3 are my independent variables. This is the regression that we will estimate today. And we're going to go through a couple of steps here. Uh, on this first video, we're going to go through the definition of matrices and the estimation of coefficients that we see here. And we're going to take some time in future videos to see how we can get the standard errors on the t-statistics as well as the total sum of squares, the residual, and the estimated sum of squares and the F statistic, the R square, and the adjusted R square. Uh, I will be uploading the data that you have over here as well as this Excel file on my website and I will show you the website at the end of this video on the lower right corner uh, of the screen. Um, now I, I will be adding two worksheets. The first one is the one that says work on where as you can see I have highlighted already all the necessary areas where we're going to be performing our calculations. But I've also uh, created another worksheet, which is called SALT, where you can see the solution um, so that you guys can download this file and try this out on your own. And if you get stuck, you can always go back to the SALT exercise, um, see, see how you should proceed. However, I do consider it especially important that you guys try this out on your own um, so that you understand how, es how regression is estimated. Now, uh, let us get started. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to define the matrices that are necessary so that we can get to our beta estimator. And as we can see over here in the beta estimator, I have a definition. I have the X matrix, the X transpose matrix, and the Y vector. Let's start by populating our areas. My Y vector is a 10 by 1 vector. I have 10 observations here. So I'm just simply going to ask it to copy all the information from the variable y. There it is. My y 10 by 1 vector is ready. Now for my x matrix, I'm going to first copy all the information from variables x1, x2, and x3 on the area that I have highlighted, which as you can see is a 10 by 4 area. It's not a 10 by 3, although I have only three variables. The reason is that if I want to estimate this regression with a constant, I'm going to have to add a column of 1's to the X matrix, which is going to make it a 10 by 4. If I wanted to estimate the regression without a constant, that means that I'm going to force the plane to pass through the 0, then I would have a 10 by 3 X matrix, and I would proceed accordingly. Now I have my X matrix, I have my X trans, I, I have my Y matrix, now we need to get to the X transpose and I could go ahead and simply ask for a copy, right click on the first cell and then say paste special asking for a transpose and the values which would get me the correct result but the problem is that this does not update the results if for example, I change the original data set. Let's see, over here I have, for example, the value 3. There is the value 3. And this is the value 3 on the X transpose matrix. If for some reason this value changes to 5, as you can see, it does not update. So instead of using this method, I'm going to highlight, let me erase that. I'm going to highlight the area where the X transpose matrix is going to go. I'm going to write equal to transpose. So I'm going to use the transpose command and Excel is asking me for the array of information and that array is the X matrix. I'm going to close parenthesis but be careful I'm not going to press enter. I'm going to hold control shift down and then I'm going to press enter so that I can get the results for the whole X transpose matrix. All right, so here we are. We're ready. We have the definitions. We can now go ahead and start with our estimations. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to estimate the X transpose X 
matrix. Now, my X matrix, as you can see over here, is a, a 10 by 4 matrix, right over here, whereas my X transpose matrix is a 4 by 10. That means that since the inner product is the same, 10 and 10, I can multiply the matrices, and the outer product is going to tell me the size of the output. And it's going to be a 4x4 four four matrix. So what I have to do is I have to highlight a 4x4 four four area. There is my 4x4 four four area. And I'm going to write equal to M mult, which stands for matrix multiplication. And now it's asking me for array 1 and array 2. Now be careful here because that's one of the most common mistakes where students get confused. My first array is my X transpose matrix. It is not my X matrix. So there is my X transpose matrix. And then I have to put a semicolon. And here is my X matrix. So again, I'm not pressing Enter. I'm going to hold Control Shift down. I'm going to press Enter. All right, so I have my X transpose X. Now I need to invert that. The command for that is very simple. Again, I have to highlight a 4x4 four four area. Only now I'm going to write equal to M inverse. And I'm going to highlight my X transpose X matrix. Hold Control Shift down and press Enter again. All right, I'm almost ready. I still need to get the X transpose Y. As we can see over here, the X transpose, as we can see over here, the X transpose is a 4 by 10. The Y is a 10 by 4. That means that the output is going to be a 4 by 1 vector. So let us go ahead and highlight a 4 by 1 area. And we're going to start writing equal to M mult. My X transpose matrix comes first. Semicolon. Y. We're going to close the parenthesis, press Control Shift, hit Enter once. And finally, when it comes to multiplying my X transpose X to the minus 1 times my X transpose Y, again the inner product is the same. The outer product is a 4 by 1. So once more, I have to highlight a 4 by 1 area. And I'm going to write equal to M mult. And I'm going to add x transpose x to the minus 1 first, semicolon, x transpose y. Control shift enter, and there are our results. As you can see, I have already written my results down here in the form of an equation. Basically, what this says is that when x increases by 1 unit, y increases by 0 0.746 units. I have rounded a little bit. Uh, when x2 increases by 1 unit, y increases by 1.1 units, and when x3 increases by 1 unit, here we have a negative relationship, y decreases by 1.349 units. All right, so here is the website, and we're going to continue on the next video with the estimation of the standard errors with the total sum of squares, estimated residual sum of squares, as well as the ANOVA table, the R-square, the adjusted R-square.